What if the way you sleep at night it could quietly raise your risk of a stroke without you even knowing it? Every year, more than 795,000 people in the U.S. experience a stroke, according to the CDC. And for many, their nighttime sleeping position may be playing a hidden role. In this video, we'll uncover the top six sleeping positions linked to a higher stroke risk, explaining why they may be dangerous for older adults, and share simple research-backed adjustments that could protect your brain and overall health. Stick with me because just one small change tonight could help safeguard your tomorrow. Hi friends, welcome back. I'm glad you're here, especially for this topic, because as we age, our bodies become more sensitive to subtle daily habits. Dr. Michael Greger, physician and author of How Not to Die, often reminds us that small, consistent changes in daily routine can have massive effects on longevity. Your sleeping position is one of those small details that often gets overlooked. We tend to think strokes are all about cholesterol, blood pressure, or smoking. And while those matter greatly, how you position your head, neck, and body for hours each night can influence blood flow to the brain, oxygen supply, and even the likelihood of dangerous clots forming. Before we dive in, I'd love for you to tap the like button so more people especially those in their 50s, 60s, and beyond, can discover this life-saving information. And if you haven't already, subscribe and turn on notifications so you'll be the first to know when we release our weekly health and wellness videos. Your support helps us keep bringing you research-backed, practical tips for living stronger and longer. Let's start by thinking about this. We spend nearly a third of our lives sleeping. That's thousands of nights, each one influencing the way our heart pumps, our brain drains waste, and our blood circulates. Dr. Raj Dasgupta, sleep specialist at Keck Medicine of USC, explains that certain sleep postures can impede venous return from the brain or restrict the airway, both of which can influence stroke risk, especially in those with pre-existing vascular issues. Number one. Sleeping fully flat on your back, supine position. While the supine position may seem harmless, it can cause the tongue and soft palate to fall backward, partially blocking the airway, a phenomenon linked to obstructive sleep apnea, OSA. A study published in the American Journal of Respiratory and Critical Care Medicine found that OSA can increase the risk of stroke by up to 60%, particularly in older adults. In those already prone to snoring or breathing pauses at night, lying fully flat can worsen oxygen drops, leading to vascular stress and clot formation. Signs this may be affecting you. Loud chronic snoring, waking up with headaches or dry mouth, daytime fatigue despite sleeping for seven, eight hours. Safer alternative, if you prefer lying on your back, Elevate your head by 20 to 30 degrees with an adjustable pillow or wedge cushion to keep the airway more open. This slight incline also helps reduce nighttime blood pressure spikes, according to cardiologist Dr. Stephen Park. Number two, sleeping on your stomach by a prone position. This position twists the neck sharply to one side for hours, potentially compressing the vertebral arteries that supply blood to the brain. Chiropractor and spinal health author Dr. Peter Martone warns that such sustained neck rotation can limit blood flow and over years may contribute to microvascular changes in the brain. For older adults with existing carotid artery narrowing, stomach sleeping can be particularly dangerous. Stomach sleeping may also cause pressure either on the chest, reducing lung expansion and oxygen intake, both of which are vital in stroke prevention. Safer alternative, Gradually train yourself to sleep on your side using a body pillow. If you can't break the stomach sleeping habit immediately, try shifting your neck to a more neutral angle with a thin supportive pillow to minimize arterial compression. Number three, side sleeping with neck hyperextension or extreme flexion. Side sleeping itself isn't inherently bad. In fact, it can be healthy, but when your pillow is too high or too low, the neck bends sharply up or down. A 2020 study in neurology found that extreme neck angles during sleep can transiently reduce carotid artery blood flow. 
Over time, this repeated strain could increase the risk of transient ischemic attacks, TIAs, or full strokes, especially in people over 50. How it happens? Pillows too thick push the head upward. Pillows too thin let the head drop downward. Both create prolonged vessel strain. Safer alternative, use a contoured memory foam pillow that supports the next natural curve, keeping your head aligned with your spine. This simple fix can improve circulation to the brain and reduce neck stiffness on waking. Number four, sleeping in a fetal position, uh, tightly curled up. While curling up might feel cozy, drawing your knees close to your chest can restrict diaphragmatic breathing. This shallow breathing may reduce oxygen delivery to the brain overnight. Pulmonologist Dr. Atul Malhotra, in an interview for the American Thoracic Society, noted that reduced oxygen saturation during sleep can accelerate vascular damage in people already at risk for stroke. For older adults, the fetal position can also compress the abdomen, increasing intra-abdominal pressure, which in turn can raise nighttime blood pressure, a known stroke risk factor. Real-life example, a 67-year-old patient described in a case study in Sleep Medicine Reviews experienced recurring morning dizziness that resolved when she shifted from a tightly curled position to a more relaxed side-lying posture with her legs partially extended. Safer alternative, try a gentle fetal variation, side-lying with knees slightly bent, not tucked. Place a pillow between your knees to keep hips aligned and encourage deeper breathing. Number five, sleeping with one arm, under the pillow or head. Placing an arm under your head may compress the subclavian artery or jugular vein, disrupting blood flow between the heart and brain. According to Dr. Jason Tinley, orthopedic spine surgeon, prolonged shoulder and neck compression can cause thoracic outlet type symptoms, including numbness, tingling, and reduced circulation, factors that in vulnerable individuals could contribute to clot formation or impaired brain perfusion. This position can also aggravate shoulder joints, which is especially concerning for older adults with rotator cuff issues or arthritis. Safer alternative, keep arms parallel to your torso or slightly bent in front of you while side sleeping. A supportive pillow under the arm can prevent numbness and help maintain circulation. Number six, sleeping with head significantly lower than the heart, declined position. Sleeping on an incline where your head is below your heart, even slightly, can increase intracranial pressure. NASA funded studies on head down tilt in astronauts published in Journal of Applied Physiology, show that this posture can cause fluid to shift toward the head, potentially affecting cerebral blood flow and increasing stroke risk in those with fragile vessels or high blood pressure. This can happen inadvertently if your mattress sags or if you use too many pillows under the lower body without elevating the head. Safer alternative, ensure your head and upper chest are slightly elevated relative to your legs. If you use a recliner or adjustable bed, maintain at least a 10 to 20 degree head up tilt to promote healthy venous drainage from the brain. Real life story. I once spoke with a retired teacher named Marjorie, 72, who suffered a mild stroke. She was shocked when her neurologist pointed out that her preferred sleeping posture, flat on her back, chin tilted upward, was worsening her untreated sleep apnea. By switching to a side position with proper neck support, her oxygen levels improved dramatically, and she reported feeling more alert and energetic in just weeks. Her story is a reminder. Sometimes prevention is as simple as the position we choose before we close our eyes. Key takeaway before solutions. So here's the bottom line. Your sleep position isn't just about comfort. It's about circulation, oxygen, and the health of your brain's delicate vessels. If you're over 50, your vascular system may already be less resilient, meaning poor sleep posture can have a bigger impact. The good news? Adjusting your sleeping position is free, simple, and can be done tonight. And science suggests it can make a meaningful difference in reducing stroke risk. Bonus tip, the left side sleeping position with proper neck support. 
research published in the Journal of Clinical Sleep Medicine and supported by findings from the University of Rochester Medical Center suggests that sleeping on your left side can support healthier blood flow and promote better brain waste clearance through the glymphatic system. This clearance process is most active during sleep and may help reduce the buildup of plaques linked to stroke and dementia. Why the left side? Circulation. This position may help reduce pressure on major blood vessels, like the inferior vena cava, improving venous return to the heart. Brain health. Animal studies, including one led by Dr. Macon Nettergaard, found that side sleeping enhanced cerebrospinal fluid flow, which helps flush out toxins from the brain. Airway. It can also reduce snoring and sleep apnea severity compared to lying flat on your back, which lowers stroke risk linked to oxygen drops. How to do it effectively? Use a medium firm pillow that keeps your head aligned with your spine. No tilting up or down. Place a pillow between your knees to keep hips aligned and prevent lower back strain. Support your upper arm with a small pillow to avoid rolling forward onto your chest. Extra tip. If you tend to switch positions during the night, wedge a firm pillow or rolled towel behind your back to keep you from rolling onto your back for prolonged periods. If you find this video helpful, please don't forget to like and leave a comment. It really encourages us and also signals to YouTube that our content is valuable. We create videos like this to help you live a healthier life. A lot of research went into making this video to ensure you get accurate and beneficial information. While we couldn't include every detail in the video, all the research sources are linked in the description below for those who want to explore further.